there's been a lot of talk on the other side of the aisle, and I just, I want to be clear. No one in this room is in the judicial branch, and no one in this room that I'm aware of is a medical doctor. If you believe that the provisions that the VA has put forward have a legal problem, you have the right to take up that case and put it through the courts. We are the legislative branch. We make laws, we pass laws, we are not judge and jury. Take it to a court if you're concerned, that is your right. In terms of making decisions on behalf of women, if you want to take a veteran's bill and make it about abortion, then let's do it. What you are saying, and you're saying in front of the American people, is that you believe a veteran who has been raped, who is the victim of incest, and who is, or who is having a dangerous miscarriage, does not deserve access to abortion. You are saying, unless you correct me and tell me what you believe a woman deserves to have when she has been raped, the victim of incest, or is in the middle of a dangerous miscarriage, if you can't state it, then be clear. You believe in no exceptions for women, a cold, heartless, violent approach to women's health. You want to ban all abortions. That is your goal. Many of you have been open about that. And if you flip the house, we know that you will put forward a full ban on all abortion for all states. You've been clear about it. You want to turn a veteran's bill into an abortion bill, let's do it. One of you are a medical doctor, not one of you. What the VA guidelines say is that if you've been raped or the victim of incest or a medical professional deems that your pregnancy is a risk to your health, the one of four women in this country who has had a miscarriage, probably many women in this room, that you are a better judge of who gets to decide the future of their life and not a medical doctor, who do you think you are? You are politicians. We are all on this floor elected officials and not medical professionals. If it was your wife, your daughter, who was suffering through a miscarriage, are you going to tell her she can't until her fever gets high enough, until she's bleeding harder? That's what's happening in the state of Texas right now. If that's what you want for veterans, shame on you. Shame on you. I'm sorry. I, we built this bill to be bipartisan. I sought your support particularly, sir. And you're making it a political issue. Shame on you. You all have pictures of veterans in your office, proud to show your pride in our veterans. It should be the most bipartisan issue in the world, and you're making it political. Shame on you.